Good afternoon everyone. Today is Sunday the 24th of March 2024 and this is Floss Tube number 13. I'm Lindsay, the Cheshire Stitcher, both here on Floss Tube and over on Instagram. Welcome to my channel. It's a channel mostly about cross stitch but I do share other crafts. Today I've got a little bit of beading for you. I've also got some finishes. I've got a new start. I've got PhDs, which if you're new here, PhDs are potential happy dancers. It's what I refer to my projects as rather than whips, because we all do a happy dance when we finish something. Uh, I've also got some haul. First off though, I would like to say, <coughs> sorry, excuse me about that. I would like to say thank you to Rachel uh, over at Talking Dog Stitcher, who gave me a shout out on her last video to try and help me get to my 500 subscriber uh, when I will do a giveaway. I was hoping that that would be by Easter, which is not going to happen because it's next weekend and I'm at 431. So, but hopefully in my next video, I'll have reached my, my 500 and I will be doing a little giveaway. I'd also like to say thank you to Sally uh, over at Flossy Sells and Grows who gave me a shout out on her last video after we'd been at the Cheshire Stitches Day at Hellsby where we'd, um, we'd shared the table and obviously with a few other stitchers and we chatted a lot, we laughed, we ate, yes there was cake and just had a generally really good day. Uh, it's usually the second Saturday of the month. If you would like any more information about that, let me know in the comments below. So, right, let's get started then, shall we? So first, my piece of beading. I showed you this last time. I had only just started it. My star, let me put my board behind it. You might be able to see it a bit better. There you go. This is called Time to Sew by MSC by Patty, I think it is, on Etsy. I've got one piece left to go. I was hoping to have it done today, but uh, see this brown here? Put your finger in the right direction, that way, there you go. That brown there, I'm short of about a dozen beads, so I couldn't, I couldn't finish it this morning. But I put out an, an appeal to my um, my beading group, which I'm going to tomorrow, and someone's come to the rescue, so this will be finished for next time. I do like making a good start. It's called, as I say, it's called Time to Sew. I think I did, didn't I? Oh, well, if I didn't. If I did, you've heard it twice. If I didn't, there you go. I've told you what it's called. So, on to finishes. First thing I finished, was the wolf. This was a caterpillar cross stitch subscription box last year and I changed the fabric. It came with pink Ada and I changed it to a Kiwi Illusions Cloudburst. 20, it's a 28 count and it's from Country Stitch. He was a joy to do. Now all I need to do is wait for my eldest daughter to come to visit and we can decide how he's going to be finished because he's going to be a Christmas gift for her partner. Or maybe his birthday, don't know yet. His birthday's Boxing Day, so it'll be one or the other. Was supposed to be done for last year, but it didn't happen. My other finish is my stitch along that I do with Jeanette. I finished last Sunday and I've also I've FFO'd it as well, which is unusual for me. The flag. The freebie from Artisy. I loved every stitch of this. Really, really enjoyed it. I finished it late last Sunday night and I FFO'd it on Friday. Unusual for me. It's just a simple pillow filler finish. This isn't the 
fabric I was going to use, but I couldn't find the other one, so I've used this one. I w it was another Union Jack one, but they were smaller, and um, I've got a little 2024 charm on it. I was going to put some pom pom trim on it, but the only one I could find was too big. I didn't like it. It was just, like I say, far too big. So that is, it's a 36 count something. I don't know what, because it was just labeled as 36 count. And I used sulky threads. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. One of the nicest things I've, I've stitched in, in, in a while. Really happy with how it turned out. There we go. So let's do my new start next. This is a love quilt square. I piled things up wrong. There we go. This is the solar system. The chart is from the Love Quilt files, so it's only for Love Quilt members' use. But that's my next one. I did say in my last video the only start I was going to have would be my Love Quilt Square, and there we are, so that's it. Now, while I'm on the subject of Love Quilts, we have lots of stitches, we have lots of squares stashed. What we are lacking in a little bit now is children to have quilts made. So if you know or have in your family any child that you think may be eligible for a love quilt, quilt, then please do go to the website, fill out the form and put them in the lottery system. Very basically, they need to be under the age of 18 and sick in some way well no sick's the wrong word and um, have some sort of condition that may mean that they have to spend time in hospital or they are just not i can't think of a way to put it i can't think of a way to put it without sounding horrible and i don't want to do that so anyway, yeah, if you have a child in your family that you may think would benefit from a quilt, don't worry if it's a bit of a, what you might think of as a weird theme. Um, things like superheroes and unicorns and Disney princesses are really common, but we've also had space. We've had, last year was, I had one for a monkey puzzle, did a monkey puzzle tray. We've had hoovers specifically henry's so even if your 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 child your grandson your next door neighbor's niece whatever don't think that it's it's too strange of a a theme because we have some very talented designers within the group who will do everything they possibly can to make sure that the theme fits what the child likes so please please if you do know of anybody because otherwise we're going to get to a point where we've got lots of quilts lot, well, lots of squares lots of people willing to sit squares and no children so it would be nice right so let's go on to my phds bits of paper everywhere first up is my Quaker flag. Oh, I'm in love with this. Don't work on it enough. I'm tipping it so that, because it's a nice bright sunny day outside, you see, so if I tip it like that, you get a better idea of the fabric colour. This kind of blows it out a little bit. This is 40 Count Beautiful by Fabrics by Crafty Kate. The chart is from Vivian Powers, Vivsters on Etsy, and she's done a whole load of them. I know she's now done a Lancashire flag. I know Lynn the Lancaster Stitcher started on that. Uh, another stitching friend is doing the Spanish flag because she's Spanish. There are loads, 
absolutely loads and Ellie Wally Stitcher Elaine has bought the Welsh Dragon flag. I'm resisting buying that at the moment because I know if I start that and this then nothing else is going to go okay. I'm using Sulky Threads for mine. This is um, a stitch along that was started on Instagram by Gail of Wombat, Wombat underscore hollow underscore crafts and Nicole of Dar Van Lee Design Studio. But I will link them down below. I am currently at three thousand one hundred and nineteen stitches of ninety six thousand six hundred and seventy nine was that seven oh it's right on the edge of the paper so it might be a zero uh, which makes it three point two three percent did i say i'm using sulkies i can't remember oh, i'll tell you if i had a brain i'd be so dangerous just lately I went to look after my grandsons the other week. Well, not the other week, last week. And I get sat down. We'd been to the park. We'd done a few other bits and pieces. And I sat down with, to stitch. I realised I'd not got my thread. So I spent the day playing games on my iPad. Which meant my hand hurt. Because it doesn't like doing that very much. A couple of hours later, the older one says to me, Granny, why did you forget Fred? And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, Fred? Who's Fred? So I says to him, who's Fred? And he went, oh, not Fred. You're Fred for your sewing. And I went, oh, I just forgot to put it in my bag. So we just went, silly Granny. He's four. They are so funny at times. They do make you laugh. Oh. So, now let's move that piece of paper out of the way. Then I have been working on the commission piece. So, I did quite a bit at the top, as you can see. And then I got so, f I was fed up with all the pale, like I said before, just doing white and off-white and cream and pale lilac and another shade of pale lilac and another shade of pale lilac it gets really boring and I got fed up with the confetti stuff so I've moved to the bottom and I've been doing a little bit down the bottom I did some more of this greenery here hanging thread as ever if you don't like it it's not my not my fault my my project i doesn't bother me if i put it away with the thread hanging i worked up here which is part of her dress if i remember correctly and this here is going to be some flowers blue bluebells bluebells or snowdrops i can't remember so that will be worked on again this week it's coming on it's far away from being done as you can, oh, if I did that, what is it? That's how long it is. And it's a full coverage. So, I plod on with it. It's getting there slowly but surely. So, I've also been on and off when I've felt like it. I've been putting a few stitches in the memorial piece I'm doing for my mum. I have decided, pardon me, that I'm not going to put a token of love in. Well, I'd already decided I wasn't going to do that, but I hadn't decided what I was going to do. I'm going to put 1948 to 2023 in there. And I have picked out this purple. I'm going to do mum's initials. In the purple this is dinky dyes midnight yeah midnight number 66 nice deep dark purple mum loved purple so 
I've just done a few days. I've kind of picked it up and done a little bit in the morning. So here we are now. I think last time you saw it, I had the W half done. So I've done the Q, the R, the T, the M, the N, the O and the P. And then I've started to do a little bit more on this cartouche outside. I've not done the S because that's one of mum's initials. Might leave them till the end. I'm undecided so far. This is from the Cross Stitch Guild. And it's one of the Christmas gifts of my mum in 2022. Which is why I'm stitching it as a memorial to her. And that, that needle winder, I don't normally need needle minders on, but my mum bought me that. So it seemed appropriate to have it on the piece that I'm stitching for her. It's a kit from the Cross Stitch Guild. And I've already shown you this, but I didn't tell you what it was. So it's not very big as you can see, but um, I just do it when I when I feel like it. Quite often it's in the morning when I finished beading and I've had my breakfast and I've had a brew and I've done a few jobs and I'll sit down and I'll go, right, okay, let's just do. Sometimes I do a length, sometimes I'll do one letter and that's it. But it's it's getting there. There's a vague possibility it'll be finished by my next floss tube. But we'll see. I certainly want it done by mum's birthday, which is the 25th of June, and I'd like to have it probably framed, I think. I'll probably just buy a frame for it. I certainly want it done by her, what would have been her birthday. So that's that. I've worked on my temperature chart. I was working on this at the end of last week, which is why it's still on the Q-snap. <sighs> Woefully behind. But at least I feel I've got all my me, me honeycombs in for February now. This is the 29th and it was the same temperature as it was on the 9th and the 10th. So while I had the thread on, I, um, I put it in so I could put the thread away back in the box. So I will, I'll be working on this again this next week. I'm going to. At least, even if it's only for one evening, I want to get a bit more done. I need to get caught up with it. It's um, getting on my nerves now. This needle winder. Again, I don't normally leave them on it, but because I was working on it. This was a gift off Jeanette. It says if it, if it involves cross-stitch and coffee, count me in. I drink a lot of coffee. I do. As my parents always used to say, the kettle barely went cold. Well, I don't actually have a kettle. I do. That sounds wrong. I do. I have one of those one cup ones. You know, press your button, you get one cup of water out. So. My last project. Because I finished the flag last week. What Jeanette and I tend to do then is we will work on a UFO for a few weeks. So. And for me. To count as a UFO, it has to have been started before the 31st of December the year before. So I have decided to work on this. Let me get the... Not organised, as ever. I started this in November for Black Sampler November. I started it on one fabric and really didn't like it so I switched it there we go it's from Daily Pattern Post on Etsy I just I thought oh, that's something I could do in a month and of course I didn't so it's now classed as a UFO so there we go when I picked it up I'd done this I had half of this done. I think I'd had that done. So yesterday I went to Yorkshire Stitches and I did the wording, 
and I did that pair of scissors. I've got a few stitches, there's like half a page right up to the edge here. I didn't put it in the frame very well, did I? I've got three or four stitches on the bottom of that page and then I get a page finish. So I might go back and do those in a bit. But hopefully, again, by the time I next record, this will be a finish and I can tick it off my list. So that's it for stitching. I've not worked on huge amounts of projects really. So I've got a bit of a plan. Um, I have decided that I do not want any more than 50 PhDs at any one time. I currently have 46 and that's fine. I'm not going to start anything to take it up to 50 because I am thinking of doing mania. Uh, so like, but only on a Thursday because my birthday falls on a Thursday in May and I always have a new start for my birthday. So I thought, Oh, right, okay, there's going to be five Thursdays. I could have five starts. But in order to do that, I want to get some other stuff finished. So I want to get that one finished at least. I'm Hopefully I can get something else finished as well. And I have no intentions of starting anything in April other than Jeanette's birthday. Her birthday falls virtually a month before mine. So she is thinking about one of those um, hands-on designs block parties. She's got three, I've got two. One of them is the same. No, has she got three? She's got three, I've got three. Two of them are the same because I very stupidly bought the same one twice and so she bought it off me for what I paid for it. And I've got the snow, the one that I got, I ended up with two of was the, the tw December the 25th, the one with the reindeer on. So I've got that one, I've got snow and I've got mend. So if she decides that that is what we're going to start, then that will be my only start in April. But hopefully it'll be done quite quickly. So I need to get down to be able to have five starts for mania if i do decide to do it i need to get myself down to 45 phds by the end of april which i could do could quite easily do even if it means that things like the temperature don't get worked on that's fine it's my stitching i can do what i like if i don't want to work on it and i want to have a mad rush at the end of the year to finish it that's what i'll do so that's what I'm planning on doing for the next month. Uh, right, so, haul. Oh. Yesterday, I'll do this bit first. Yesterday was the Yorkshire Stitching Day. Um, um, one of the other ladies that was there had brought the stash of somebody that she knew that passed away. So we were just encouraged to look through it and put a donation in the, the the box and any money that was donated was given to the centre where we meet so I went and I had a look and I got that sunflower no brainer really and the other thing I picked up Excuse me, itchy nose. Now, I don't normally stitch on Ada. That's folded in half lengthways and widthways. Actually, yeah, lengthways and widthways. White, white 14 count Ada. And I thought, you know what? I'm having that because it saves me. Look at that saves me having to buy squares at £1.50 a time pre-done, pre-edged and everything for us. Which there's nothing wrong with that, that's fine, you know. 
but if I can buy a big piece and help out the place we meet, then that's what I'm going to do. So I have this massive, massive piece. Like I say, that's folded in half. And then, yes, it's got a big stain on it there, but I can um, work around that. So I have this nice, myself a lovely big piece that will keep me going for Love Quilt Squares for the rest of this year, probably. I also was in town on Wednesday to get my nails done. Oh, I forgot. I got a hoop yesterday as well. I thought, I don't stitch in hoops, but it's a nice small one to do some finishing with. So, like I say back to what I was waffling about I went to get my nails done and I wandered into the works as I do most weeks because you never know what they're gonna get and they had that so and I know a few people have said about picking it up in the works as you can see it cost me six pounds I sent Jeanette a message and she immediately got back if they got any more can you get me one so there's another copy sitting over there waiting for her I'm not going to do a flip through of it. Um, I would imagine, I, I haven't looked, but I would imagine that there are plenty of people out there that have already done one. But if you would like me to do a flip through, then just let me know and I'll do one for you. I can do it as an extra. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I've had a look through it and there's one or two that I like in here. Mainly that one there be the reason someone smiles i do like that so we shall see what happens with that of course like everything else i've bought it it'll go in my stash and probably not get looked at again for years and then we come to the market hall yeah hmm. like many people i did a pre-order with Looks like needlework for market. So much so that I had to ask her to split it up into two lots for me. So I got Petite Quaker drum, which is a full kit. It's got everything in it. I'm not going to open it because it would make too much noise. If I do decide to do Mania, this is one of the things I was thinking I would do. Because apart from my birthday one, which is going to be Tonna's Ranges, it's a band sampler. I'll put the link down below. But it's all, it's a free chart. But it's all, forty one. it's done over 41 weeks, one band a week. But that's going to be my birthday start, irrespective of whether or not I do mania I will be starting that but anyway if I do do mania this will be one of the things I start so I got that I got the blue flowers bees in the greenhouse because I like 3d things I like things that make me think about how I put it together and it comes with the instructions so I don't have to work it out myself I also got Stitchy Tear, which again is something that it's not that big. It's 61 by 91. So it could well be a mania start. And it's got a, well, what you would, it's a very stylized sunflower on it. So I kind of have to have that. I've never stitched an Erin Elizabeth. I've never stitched a blue flower either. So that will be a first for me. And then I got the collector's heart, which is a bit irritating because it's advertised as a kit and it isn't because it doesn't have threads in it. So it's not a kit, not in my book anyway. But you have the little, little butterfly again, possibly a um, mania start, but we'll see. It's mostly got pinks in it. I won't do pink, so I'll, I'll have a route round and see what I can find in the uh, reds that work together. Won't be the first time I've done that. And I got that. Seize the needle. Whether or not I will be brave enough to make it up into a little purse, I don't know. 
but again it's got step-by-step -step instructions so I don't have to work it out sorry if I'm squinting a little bit the the sun's coming through the the window at the top of the door so it it keeps blinding me a little bit um because it's a lovely sunny day out here today I've done three loads of washing so far and they've all dried although it's sunny it's very breezy and I thought I needed to get it done because apparently for the next week it's going to rain not good is it and then this is the reason I had to ask her to do it on the two lots they came wrapped together in a piece of ribbon which I couldn't be bothered to put back on And I had to ask her to do it in two bits because I got the finishing kit as well. And it just, I don't know, it just appealed to me. I wouldn't normally, mice aren't normally my thing, but I just fell in love with it. So, full kit. These are weeks, I think. I think they're weeks dye works. Yeah, from what I can, you can just peek in there. It's a week, their week's dye works. And um, I got the finishing kit. Sorry for the crinkles, there's not much I can do about that. It's in a crinkly bag. So that's the reason I had to ask her to split it off with two lots for me. I had to wait the payday. Didn't have quite enough saved up. But I couldn't resist it. So I'm quite looking forward to doing that. If I'd not found the other thing that was going to start for my birthday, then I would have um, started that for my birthday. And I've just realised I forgot to mention something. Hang on a sec. Sorry, Jeanette, no blue drink again. I'll finish off the bottle that was in the fridge. Like I, like I said earlier, I went to Yorkshire Stitchers Day yesterday. And... I happened to be sat next to Emma Shepherd from Emma Stitches. Lynn the Lancaster blah, 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 blah. Lynn the Lancashire Stitcher was also there. And we had somebody new come. I've never met her before. I have watched the videos. Hannah Wollstone's Wollstone Home. I think that's how you say it. She was there as well, so it was nice to meet her. And that was that was yesterday at the Yorkshire Stitchers. Oh my gosh. Somebody on Friday night decided to drive the wrong way down the M62. And it caused a head-on collision. Now from what I can gather, one person died and the other person is critical. But I don't, that's all I know. But that made the M62 close. So I didn't know this when I left. Otherwise I would have left earlier. I It took me an hour longer than it would normally to get to get there. Because I had to go, rather than just going straight up the M62, coming off at Junction 24, I had to come off at Junction 21, follow the signs. There was a bottleneck in a village. And you literally you'd move two foot and then you'd wait and then you'd move another four foot and then you'd wait and and then we get up and over the top and whilst driving up and over the top I had brilliant sunshine I had high winds I had rain I had snow and sleet so I had every weather you could think of in in the space of an hour but I got there in the end I've had a good day. Lovely lunch as always. It's at a place called The Space in Rasterick. Um, it's a community place. Absolutely fantastic. The lunch is provided. We pay for it, obviously. But it's all done by volunteers. They give up their Saturdays. They come in and they feed us. And they feed us well. It's a very nice community space. It's well thought out. It's well lit. Oh, pardon me, because I just had a drink. Well worth it. 
normally it takes me just over an hour to get there. It took me nearly two. And then coming home, rain. Heavy rain on the 62. As soon as I got off the 62 and onto the M60, it was like, it was like driving through a curtain. It just stopped. But it was worth it. It was a really good day because I got that massive piece of Ada. And I got to catch up with um, a few floss tubers. And I will link them down below just in case you don't watch any of them. Um, I think that's it. Apart from my next video will probably be the 21st of April. My partner is off from Friday this week for two weeks. He's booked holidays, so he's off for two weeks. So I would have when it, I think it's the 14th it would have been but he's off he has said if I need to record he can go and watch a video lie on the bed and watch a video or something like that so I might take him up on that I'll see how I get on with stuff if I've got enough worth showing otherwise I will be back on 21st of April so I hope you all have a really nice Easter don't eat too much chocolate you are all well and I will see you in three weeks time is it three weeks I think it's three weeks I'm, just, I'm not with it don't know what's up with me but never mind right I shall go otherwise I shall waffle on happy stitching and I'll see you soon bye